and now I'll come back home. So make we talk about events for React. It day slightly different from the way we do events for JavaScript. So now we're gonna look for this site for yes. So make we first clean up this code. I go like clean up most of these ones and uh, make we clean the styles for now we don't need the styles even for here so. and then make we just leave the styles for you so this is not just our small uh, text components where we just uh, use as example where we just uh, put all this text for here but what we want to do for here we say one create a button component like typical html button if you use them they click them and then things going to happen for the background but what you want to do for React, say one create a button and then one give that button an event or one pass them an event. We say if we pass on that event, we feel they do things inside down, right? So how we go take drum? Well, the first thing we would like to do is say if we create the button inside here. So make we come here and then make we just create a button. So um for here, I will just say button. Actually, I use image, so I could just say PTN. And uh, this button, I could just press tab, and that will give me a JSX button, which just resembles HTML button. Now, what you want to be say, one put the event where we want, one call an event on top of. Remember, say for HTML, you want to do unclick, and then you could just assign them to you know whatever function where you call uh, my func, and then that function go run. Well, if you don't like this for React, you, you know go work. Why? Because remember, say we they work with the DOM events, DOM um, events, not DOM events. And for HTML, uh, because the browser know they understand React, but React not JavaScript, right? So this DOM way they look here now React DOM, and this React DOM it they it get as it they be, it get as it they show something, it get as it they behave, it get the way it's supposed to expect something. So if you try put that normal on click, make I try put that. So if you move here, and we say make we save this file first. And then make we just add a, a text say for react the way they write your on click i don't tell you now say now camel case and the way they do the camel case now say on and click so you go say capital c and also sorry because this is my funk i never declare them that's not why I, I never define them so make i just come here make we just define this my funk function so this function suppose just make we just say alert and make we just alert a string of alpha okay so this button go there and uh make a refresh page this button go there and if we click on um, then the button will show and uh, if you click this button and it's supposed to tell us how far so if we say okay i try this again so we see say we get this warning because we use this click event so if i click on um, this is say you know they work so always remember say you know they work if you know do the right thing so we'll go change them for here to big c and now refresh page and click on it's supposed to give me that alert message so this is a how far don't show for here now when they call this function say we want to make something happen we want to make it do something make it show make it run this function so on click make it run this function for you also if you do different events so if you want to know all the events for react you could just come press on and of course for my vs code if you just press shift and i could just press tab so this is say we get all these events all these events on blur on play on this on click and so on and so forth or if you even get on double click on cut on drag all these events react their own virtual dom don't do them for us if you use all these events for here so if you say on double click then make it do something all right so if you say okay whenever we double click this button then make this function uh how far make it make it alert us this message so of course if you say make me double click if you click once you know get down you get counts you know get down but if you click twice one two you go see say it didn't show uh this alert so react dom it don't help us today do this kind of thing very very easy very very simple so how we want to take even the pass arguments for inside our components like make me say we they work on something and we want to pass like an argument into ram and let's say that argument like this function for example one make them different words so not just how far so if you just say you want passing you can just call a word as the argument and then um and then here you could just say alert word for here okay so now we want alert whatever word will be passing to this function here now i want alert inside here okay now for inside this um, um double click function we could change down to click so we say on click remember for inside here inside this my funk 
What we want to say, we want the pass in that parameter. So if I press save now, if you try click on, you can see say we know they get anything. So they give you this object object. Then I because say it expects an object, okay? But we know they give them that object. We just say alert the object, but we know they give them the object. So we want passing that object as a parameter. So the parameter will be expect now the word which will be a string. So we could just say how far. And now I say how far like this. And now if I make it like this, you can see say we did get this how far. So if I click okay here and we press this we suppose get uh that button but you just say now you know they work why you know they work even though i did click them so if you refresh the page you go see say it they give me the alert now why this now because we they call this function immediately when this dom render this is not how the dom they behave so because we they call this function what you want to say you won't make you know do you won't make it day there but make the function no run you won't make the function just wait for you make it click first before you run the function because now if i just click okay you see say if i just refresh the page you can see say it they call the function immediately it they call the function immediately it they call the function immediately we don't want like that we won't make it do only when we don't click that button so have a good take down simple you can just come inside here inside our curly brace you can just write your fat arrow function you feed drum like that you call pass them into as a function and once you're done like this and then we press refresh you can see say now you know they do like that so if i click here now then it they work if I close up and I click again, then it will work. If I close up and I click again, then it will work. So it is to say, this is not how you they pass or you they pass your arguments into your real functions or all those kinds of things. So because of this, this is not why uh, events, they're very interesting to they work with. So as time goes on, we're going to understand how we feel they use all these events for react we go build very interesting projects in the future and i hope say we don't have a stick when we will say we go fit do some kind of things we'll say we go to learn reaction they go they go they go that's all we go fit length if you not enjoyed this kind of video i beg make me let me know if you not get suggestion you feel also let me know for the comment side of this video and they always they try reply but if you not want hear me directly no wala now if you join our telegram community otherwise thanks for watching oh.